Mark and Dave were sitting at their usual spot in the coffee shop, debating which was worse, Mark's awful taste in music or Dave's obsession with weird documentaries. They were in the middle of laughing about Dave's latest deep dive into the history of toothbrushes when the door swung open. In walked a guy who looked like he belonged in a biker gang. Leather jacket, ripped jeans, tattoos all over his arms, and boots that made it sound like he was stomping in with thunder. He had a face that looked like it hadn't smiled since, well, ever. The entire cafe seemed to get quieter as he walked in, every head turning for a second to check him out. Dude, check this guy out, Dave whispered, nudging Mark. Bet he's about to order his coffee black. No sugar, no milk, just pure bitterness. Mark chuckled, leaning over to get a better look. Yeah, and he probably drinks it while planning his next bar fight. The two of them smirked, waiting to see what kind of edgy, bad guy move he was going to pull next. But then something happened that completely knocked the wind out of their assumptions. As the tough-looking guy walked toward the counter, a little girl, maybe five or six years old, dropped her stuffed bunny on the floor. She didn't notice at first, and neither did her mom, who was busy juggling a cup of coffee in her phone. Without hesitation, the guy bent down, picked up the bunny, dusted it off like it was the most delicate thing in the world, and crouched down to hand it back to the girl. She looked up at him with wide eyes, and he smiled. Yes, smiled. This huge, warm smile. Here you go, kiddo. Can't lose a buddy like that, he said in the gentlest voice imaginable. The girl grinned back, hugging her bunny tightly, and her mom mouthed a quick thank you as she rushed out the door. Mark and Dave stared at each other, speechless. The guy who looked like he belonged on a movie poster for a biker movie stood up, adjusted his jacket, and quietly took a seat by the window like nothing had happened. Dave blinked. Did, did we just witness that? Mark nodded slowly. Yep, big tough guy just saved a stuffed bunny in distress. They sat there, processing what they'd just seen, realizing how completely wrong they had been. Mark leaned back in his chair, grinning. Guess we learned something today, huh? Yeah, Dave said, still shaking his head in disbelief. Looks aren't everything. Sometimes the nicest people are the ones you least expect. Moral of the story. Never judge someone by how they look. The guy with the tough exterior might just be the one with the kindest heart. Thank you for watching and remember like, share, and keep spreading positivity like this.